Yes? Mr. Alton's here, Mr. Maskell. Oh, good. Ask him to come in, would you? Would you come this way? David! It's good to see you. It really is. It's nice to see you, Scott. Come on in. How long has it been now? Five years? Six? Quite a while. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. It was quite a surprise to hear from you again. Ah, yes, but I've thought about you many times. And naturally, when this job came up, you were my first choice. As a matter of fact, I had hoped we might have met last week. Yes, well, I, I've been in hospital. Yes, so you said in your letter. Ah, well, you're here now. That's all that matters. What exactly is this job? Oh, plenty of time for that. We've lots of old times to talk over first. Let me get you a drink. What will you have? Dry sherry. Splendid choice. As a matter of fact, I have something rather special. We take the entire output from a bodega in San Luca de Barameda. Tiny place, but as far as I know, it's the only wine that's still shipped in Amphora. Of course, it should only be drunk when perfectly chilled, but frankly, my palate isn't as discerning as it might be. And in any case, I always feel it has a quite different bouquet when drunk straight from the cask in the bodega. Understand? I killed him! He's dead! I killed him! <laughs> yes, absolutely perfect. I'm totally confident that we can now go ahead. Bye. Now, what about that drink? Sherry, I think you said. gone for? Six days at the most. Believe me, I am not going to stay there any longer than I have to. Daniel, will you stop falling for that stuff? The van's going to be here for it in a few minutes. Well, what are you giving this stuff away for? Because the jumble sale is the highlight of the celebrations. Each year, the family dives into its wardrobes and contributes its old clothes. Mm -hmm. Who was this coat for? Who belonged to this? I imagine it was my great-grandfather's. Yeah. <gasps> he was also a magician on the side. I've seen you do that trick at least a dozen times, and I'm still unimpressed. Uh, well, one day I'll teach it to you. Oh. Oh, oh Ginger Rogers. Got it. Well, I presume you have now finished the gamut of your impression, so no. you'll be kind enough to put all of that back in the hand. Okay, yeah. Well, uh, here, let me carry this boy. 
Thank have you. a nice week. See you when you get back. Yes, we have a date for me to introduce you to Sam Milford. Right. I've been trying to meet him for seven years. Well, when you too, Daniel, are the richest man in the world, you will also be choosy about people you meet. Yes. Now, make sure that that hamper goes off. Yes. Goodbye. You're on the tube ship. Hmm. His family goes back even further than he thinks. <laughs> Don't try and talk for a minute. Let me make you a little more comfortable, first of all. What? What? There. Now, I must tell Dr. Fowler that you're awake. Please. Please. Where am I? Brantyre General Hospital. You've had a very bad accident. Don't try and hurry it. It'll all come back. Good morning, Lord Sinclair. Well, I must say, you're a man who enjoys his sleep. You've been out cold for, what is it, 24 hours? A little more. Now then, how do you feel? Terrible. I should have thought you'd have felt worse than that. Right, well, let's have a look at you then. Dr. Avery, please. Dr. Avery. What happened? We don't know. Yeah, the pulse is good. You were found at the bottom of a quarry. Your arm's broken in two places. You've got a 23-stitch gash in your leg. Multiple bruises and abrasions. You were quite a mess. Now breathe in, will you? My head is splitting. Yes, I forgot about that. You've got a bump on there as big as a duck's egg. I was hit. There was a girl. Someone came up behind me. 
Yes, that makes sense. Hit you with a branch of a tree, I should think. Well, we found tiny fragments of bark in the hair around the wound. Uh, get me four cc's of contraf. Have you got any idea why you should be attacked? No ideas about anything. No, that's understandable. Still some concussion. You need a lot more rest. Anyway, now, don't you worry. You're going to mend very nicely. You feel that? Yes. Good. Good. Oh, a few days. You'll be as good as new. Mentally, that is. Of course, the, uh, the broken bones are going to take a bit longer. Right, there we are. Now, I'll be here to see you tomorrow. Oh, yes, sir.
Upstairs and have a look at Sinclair. Come on. Oh, have a look round for Alton, will you? I think he must have fallen asleep somewhere. Right, you check upstairs. I'll take this floor. I gave him as much as I dared. He's been up to the living already. He'll survive. Give him another shot now. No, I can't. It's too risky. Give it to him. Alton's dead. What? An accident from the look of it. He must have fallen. It makes things very complicated. I want to bring the operation forward 24 hours. Uh, no reason why we shouldn't. What about him? No, I don't need him anymore. Having him another day was just a luxury, really. Then we'll go ahead. entitled to think I'm going out of my mind, if you like. I'm not sure you wouldn't be right. But everything I have told you is true. It happened. I believe you. I believe you, because I don't think you can make up a story like that. Why, well, I've, uh, I've been over it in my mind step by step. Well, let's go over it again, step by step. Every detail. Only this time, out loud. There are uh, an awful lot of blank spaces. OK, so we'll fill them in. Why don't we start at the top? Well, it uh, started here. I uh, took my bag down to the car. That was midday yesterday. What? I took my bag down. You know, um, oh, about the time. What did you say about the time? Midday yesterday. You're wrong. That was seven days ago, Brett. Oh, no. It can't be. It can't be. Look, before you uh, came over, I called my doctor. I am going to see him later this morning. He can make some suggestions, maybe. Yeah, that's a good idea. Anything I can do for you? Yes. The uh, house with a hospital room. Yeah. Well, uh, that was real. I didn't imagine it. There was an estate agent's board on the front door. The name was... Sumry, Philipson and Hurst. Mm. The place was for sale. It was called Linstead House. OK. There must be some association of uh, these estate agents. It's, it's a good lead. The hospital room is on the upstairs landing. I'll find your house and your hospital room. If it turns out 
The house doesn't exist. Don't tell me. Come on, cheer up. See you later. X-rays show no trace of any breaks in your arm. You certainly have no stitches in your leg. Oh, what about the back of my head? Well, this is a trace of an abrasion there, but it's almost healed. From the look of it, I'd say that it's been healing for a week or more. And the punctures in my arm? Hmm? Yes, you've had some shots. But you know, even with a blood test, I doubt if I could establish what was injected. Now, just what have you been up to, Brad? You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. Anyway, what is the diagnosis? As always, you're in first class physical shape. Stop pussyfooting, Philip. Mentally. Well, these days we all live under pretty considerable stress. It gets on top of us sometimes. You could probably use a couple of weeks' holiday. Thank you, Philip, at least. I these for? Well, they're surgeons' reference drawings. The lady's going to have a new nose, a third in two years. Do they always use these? Not usually. Plastic surgery is an art form, you know. Sculpting in human tissue. If uh, somebody wanted to create a double, a perfect likeness of me, for instance, would they use these or the real thing? Well, I imagine a bit of both. When a painter does a portrait, he makes reference sketches. But he uh, usually has the subject sit for him as well. Thank you, Philip. You really are a remarkable doctor. 20 minutes with you and I feel 100% fitter. I can't imagine why. But well, uh, one of these days I shall tell you. Peace. Hello, Charles. My lord. How's business? Fine. Business is fine. Good. I uh, notice I'm a little overdue for service. You think you can take me in next week? What's the gag? It's no gag. I'm due for service. Well, it's all arranged, isn't it? I mean, the car's coming on Monday, isn't it? Not that I know of. Here. Here, look at this. Lord Sinclair Aston Martin, full service, click on Monday, 8 a.m. Who arranged this? Well, you did, sir. I mean, that's your signature, isn't it? Yes. When was the sheet laid out? Well, you should know. You were in here less than a couple of hours ago. You all right, sir? Now, this may sound strange, and uh, I want you to bear with me. Are you sure, absolutely sure, that I was here? Unless you've got an identical twin brother. And if you have, he's got exactly the same car and the same registration number. Thanks, Charles. Well, I don't think it's too early for a celebratory drink, do you? It is going exactly as we hoped. But there's still a long way to go. So, let's drink to the next stage. Why do you always need an excuse to drink? Why don't you just fill the glasses? By the way, I told you I had a cable, didn't I? The arrangements have been confirmed for Wednesday. Oh, yes. The timing's absolutely perfect. Your patient will be fully primed by then. He's ready now. Why don't you stand next to the bottle, old boy? It'll save me walking backwards and forwards. He went to the garage this morning. There were no problems. Excellent. What else do you have lined up for him? Ah, oh, well, the big one comes tonight. If he passes that, we're home and dry. You know Wilde's movements? Oh, yes. The phone tap was most informative. How will he react? Well, exactly as I expect him to, naturally. 
I shall be there as an observer, but uh, I'm quite confident he'll fall wild. How do you think he'll take the news? Oh, that'll confuse him. Here's your house. That's it. It's fantastic. Course for celebration. Get yourself a drink. Do you get inside? You see the hospital room? Hmm? There's no hospital room. There's no house. There's nothing. What are you talking about? This is it. It burnt down this morning. We're on to something. Daniel, I uh, don't know how. But I believe they've created a perfect double of me. A total mirror image. Someone who looks like me, talks like me, dresses like me, even drives the same car. What's the matter? Don't you believe me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I believe you. But why? <sighs> Mr. Wilde is gonna be late for his date. Hey. I got a date tonight. Why don't you call somebody you know, and we'll make it a force, and we'll go out for dinner. Thanks all the same, Daniel. I'd rather oh, be... Oh, it'll help you relax. You'll really enjoy it. Well, that's exactly what I intend to Relaxing. OK. And curl up with a old Scottish friend. <laughs> all right. Have a nice evening. Right, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. now, thanks for this. There he goes. Now, oh, don't lose sight of him. straight on past. You know, I, I saw it on television. You had to see it to believe it. It was a miracle, a miracle that's been around for years and you don't even know it. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, Stanley, could I have an egg, please? An egg, sir? Yeah, an egg, please. I mean, it's an astounding, an astounding thing. Yeah. Is that uh, uncooked? I mean, yes, is a, fresh it, a fresh egg. Look how delicate and fragile it is. One little and you got an omelet, don't you? <laughs> you wouldn't believe that this is one of the strongest structures in the world. Let me show you what I mean. Just take it in your hand, and you're just going to squeeze as hard as you Very good, sir. Stanley, you I gave me the wrong egg. Sinclair. My buddy, see him sitting at the bar? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go talk to him, I'll be right back, okay?
Well, quiet night at home, huh? Daniel. With an old Scottish friend, eh? What Scottish friend? Scotch, Scotch. Drink Scotch, Scottish friend. Remember? Me? Oh, I, uh, mm. I felt like coming out for a while. Good. I would like you to meet the eighth wonder of the world. Her name is Annabelle, and she sits there. <laughs> We're going to call her grandmother, and we'll make it a foursome. What do you say? No, Daniel, I, uh, I don't think I'd be very good company tonight. Okay. You're the only guy in the world I'm going to do this for. I'm going to bring Annabelle over to meet you. No, I, I'd rather you didn't. One good turn deserves another. Not that I can remember when you did me a good turn, but I'm going to do it anyway, sweetie. I want you to come over and meet this friend of mine. He's... Now, where did he go? <laughs> Here, finish your drink, and when you finish that, you're gonna have mine. I'll be back in just a couple of minutes, okay? Stanley! Get some rest. You've surpassed my highest expectations. I'll be in touch with you on Wednesday. That's the big day. Good night. Daniel, thought you had a date tonight. What's the matter, didn't you show? Never mind. One of these days you'll find yourself a nice, short-sighted girl who won't care how you look out. What is it? You try to kill me tonight. Kill you? What are you talking about? You know what happened. Don't play any games. Not playing games? What do you mean, try to kill you? You met me in a bar. You got up and walked outside. When I followed you, you jumped me. And tried to kill you? Yeah. Did you tell me where you were going tonight? No, I didn't. Well, that proves it. They've created a double. 
Oh, come on, what are you talking about? Well, I don't mean somebody who just looks like me. I mean a perfect, flawless copy. Uh, they, they couldn't fool me. They have. I haven't set foot out of this apartment all evening. Well, you're not taking any chances, are you? You won't be shooting at you, you know. I know, but one of my most engaging qualities is my extreme cowardice. When the bullets start to fly, I shall want all the protection I can get. Well, I'd better be moving. Good luck. I hope we've removed any dependence on the element of luck. I'll see you when it's over. Just a minute. Haven't you forgotten something? Don't make any more mistakes, will you? There's no question about it. You are the real Lord Brett Sinclair. No one in the world makes coffee as bad as you. Oh, I thought I did first. Well, you have. It's only disgusting. Thank you. You know, I've been thinking about this double business. Mm. For a start, a plastic surgery job is really a big deal. No, thank you. Nothing is going to help. It's one thing to do a, you know, to do a face job. But then you gotta find a guy and coach him into mannerisms. You gotta pitch his voice a certain way, he's gotta learn gestures, he's gotta learn walks. You know, now, a thing like that would take months. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Now, for so much trouble, it's gotta be something enormous, a really important thing, right? Mm-hmm. What special privilege do you have? Hmm? What is there about your face that um, causes so much trouble. Hmm? Well, I spent the entire night thinking about it. All I did was hurt my ego. Your ego? Why? Daniel, there is nothing about me that is worth all that endeavor. Oh, I wouldn't say that. There must be some... As a matter of fact, you're right. You'd have to be out of your mind to want to be you. Well, money, lands, titles, estates. They're all so tied up in trust, even I can't get them. Yeah, right. Oh, I forgot. Uh, this game with Sam Milford. He gets into town today, wants us to see him late. Sam Milford. Well, that's it, Daniel. That is why they want a double. What? Well, think about it. What do you know about Sam Milford? Well, not many people get to see him anymore. He's one of the wealthiest ship owners in the world, I know that. You know, five or six years ago, he was a pretty big swinger. He used to run around a lot, and then all of a sudden, he shut up like a clam. And very few people know why. I do. Five years ago, there were three attempts on his life. There have been a few since. Now, he never moves without a regiment of bodyguards. His homes, his offices, all over the world are like bank vaults. He's better protected than Fort Knox. Mr. 
morning, sir. Morning. Hello, Sam. Welcome back to London. Hello, Scott. Nice to see you. You're looking fine. Did you see it? Sam Milford's one of my oldest friends. Well, I, I come and go as I please. The guards all know me. No checks. That's what's special about my face. It's an unquestioned passport to Sam Milford. See if you can get him on the phone, will you? Okay. You'll find the number on a pad by the telephone. Got it, pal. That's it. On the number? Milford. What is it under? What do you suppose Milford's under? Oh, yeah, M. Here I go. See, Milford is under M. I don't see any Milford anywhere around. There we are. Wait a minute. Wait a minute what? Wait a minute. When did it happen? Well, when they were holding me at the house, I imagine. I don't remember it happening. Why? Brett, the guy I fought last night was you. There's no double. If anybody's primed to kill Sam Milford, it's you. I shall make the telephone call in exactly five minutes from now. My bet is that they've uh, programmed you to carry out a sequence of actions. The main one is to kill this guy, Milford. Well, it's not possible. I'd have some memory of it. There'd be something. You know, they've, uh, technique now is pretty sophisticated. They've got the hypnotic drugs, auto-suggestion, mind implants. With the right treatment, they can key you into any action they want. Assuming what you say is true, then why last night? Why did I attack you? It's probably some uh, phrase or word. When you hear it, it acts like a switch. And you'll do or say anything they want. When it's over, there's a word that'll switch you off. And you don't remember anything that's happened. It's like being a human grenade. One thing sure, I can't let you near this San Milford until I can get some expert help. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to let you near anybody. Because that pin doesn't go off unless someone, somebody, delivers the trigger word. Right. I'm going up there. Give me the gun. Well, I can't stay here for the rest of my life. It's only been ten minutes. You know, you'd be some partner on a desert island, I tell you. Well, I'm not on a desert island. In the middle of London. I have things to do, people to see. Look, Milford is going to be here till tomorrow morning. Then you can bust out. Until then, you got to relax. I know what we'll do. We'll play some gin. Go get the cards. They're in the desk. You always cheat at gin. Look, that's the only way I'm going to win. Will you humor me? Just go get the cards. Give them to my little piccadillos. Get in the bedroom.
Good afternoon, Lord Sinclair. Good afternoon. Mr. Milford is expecting you, sir. Thank you. Get out, get out, leave her, get out, leave her, get out, get out, all right, what did you do, how did you treat a brat to kill this man, how, how did you do it, get out, you can't stop it now, you can't stop it, we've done experiments, we've done tests, Sinclair will kill Milford, hello Sam, hello Brett, good to see you, it's been too long, you look marvellous, Sam. I don't know how you do it. Well, you're not exactly falling to pieces yourself. <laughs> Come on, sit down. Let's talk. I've got a million things I want to ask you. And a couple of things I want to tell you. Oh, like what? Well, I don't know whether you're prepared for this, but, uh, so hold on. Well, don't keep me in suspense, Sam. Uh, I got married. That is fantastic. The last of the natural bachelors hooked. When am I going to meet her? Right now. Hello, Lord Sinclair. Sam's told me so much about you. I think you must be the only man in the world that he really trusts. Go around. Now, how did it happen? Ah. There's a trigger word. Pull the gun, you'll fire. He's got no control over his actions at all. Is that what happened to me last night? Yes. All right. Now, how do you turn him off? There's an eraser word. What's the word? Uh, but it won't work this time. He is mentally compelled to go through a course of actions that only he can act. So what's the word? It's not a word. Not this time. It's a sound. The sound of the gunshot as he kills Milford. Thanks, kiddo. Oh. Good night. <coughs> so, uh, when did all this happen? Five months ago. We had our honeymoon in Trinidad, and then I had to get back to the States. In all that time, we've only had a couple of months together. I've been here, in London. I think this calls for a celebration. I'll leave all the fancy boots to Scott. Scott, have you got anything special for us? Yes, we have a sherry. As a matter of fact, I'd rather like Lord Sinclair's opinion of it. It's something rather unique. It would be my pleasure. Hi. Excuse me, sir. Please, don't try to stop me now. I'm really in a hurry. Oh. It's from a tiny bodega in San Luca de Barameda. Just a few acres, but as far as I know, it's the only wine that's still shipped in Amphora. As hard as I can. As hard as you can. Strongest structure in the world. Have you seen this in? No. Can't possibly. You buy me a new suit. Can't possibly break it. Come on. <laughs> I give in. You're right, Daniel. 
Shall we, children? Tramps awaits. Well, how did you... 